be tough. These women see their own toughness as a way out. They battle the harsh conditions of the Katanga slum in Uganda's capital, Kampala, every day. But against the odds, they dream the glory of the ring and the winning prize money will propel them to a better life. Lydia Nantale is 19. She is heading to the Rhino Club after work. I took up boxing after going to watch my friends Helen, Diana and Maureen. They were boxing against Kenyans and I really enjoyed the matches. At that time, my mother was sick and I needed money for her medical bills. My friends told me boxing could change my life for the better. But the opportunities for female boxers are slim in Katanga. Often their fights are used as curtain raisers before the men take over the ring. The women who train here dream of boxing internationally, yet find themselves faced with few opportunities to show off their skills. The head coach, Innocent Capolata, says that despite their talent, he can't further the women's skills alone. The female boxers also have talent, but they need exposure. Our leadership didn't give them much attention at first. They struggled single-handedly to raise funds from this community for them to participate in tournaments in Nairobi and Mombasa. After their impressive performances against the Kenyans, the UBF finally realized that these girls had potential. He wants the Ugandan government to support these sportswomen the same way he says they do their male counterparts. But for these women, all bets are off until they box their way out of Katanga's squalor.